The pad bench is one of the best exercises that you can utilize to become more explosive in your upper body. And one of the reasons behind this is that you can change the tempo, you can change the eccentric portion of this movement. And when you're utilizing a pad, you wanna use something like an Airx pad that's going to be about an inch to two inches thick. So something like a, a blue Airx pad you can put on your chest and you can actually alter that eccentric portion so that you're doing anywhere from a fast eccentric, one to two seconds where you're just dropping, hitting that chest and exploding up as quickly as possible, or if you're really looking for serious strength gains along with that big time explosive work, you can do a six to eight second eccentric and still focus on that bounce off of that pad. And a lot of people will ask me, why do I really like to utilize that pad bench? The reason behind my utilization of the pad bench is that if I want someone to be peaking really, really well in various sports, I can take that eccentric portion out of the bench and actually freshen them up and they'll still have that big time load on the concentric movement. So what we're looking for is a big stretch reflex and a big, fast, concentric portion of the movement. Now, that doesn't mean that you always have to do it without that eccentric portion. Again, like I've mentioned, if you wanna focus on strength and explosiveness, you can slow down the eccentric portion and then just as you're about to get to the air X pad, you get a fast drop, a fast stretch shortening cycle. And when you have that fast stretch shortening cycle, now all of a sudden your body wakes up and lights up through the concentric portion. And that's the key here. The reason why pad bench is so good for explosive work is because of the stretch shortening cycle, the last four to six inches of the movement onto the pad and then back off the pad is where you're gonna see your bench start to really blow up. You're gonna start to see if you're a shot putter, you're gonna have a better standing throw. If you're pummeling and wrestling, you're gonna feel more explosive. If you're a cornerback and you've gotta give a little jab to your wide receiver who's lined up opposing you, that pad bench is gonna help you stick them a little bit more. Even if you're a running back and you're trying to throw a stiff arm, now that's where the pad bench comes into play. So I love to utilize the pad bench if I'm peaking athletes, if I want to dramatically increase their strength and increase their explosiveness, and if I have athletes that struggle with that rapid arm extension, that rapid elbow extension, I like to use the pad bench one to two times a week for five sets of three to five reps. What's up everybody, it's Dan Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming an explosive freak, you wanna take those weight room gains and transfer it directly over to your field. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So when we're talking about explosive upper body exercises, we've gotta think about what does that mean? What's the definition behind that? And I like to think about it from a couple various perspectives. That first key aspect is I wanna see a rapid stretch shortening cycle. So when there's a rapid stretch shortening cycle, your body's going to learn how to absorb energy and reuse it as actively as possible. And that's a very key concept for having a prowess of athletic performance. If you are more explosive, if you can handle that stretch shortening cycle and reapply that energy, you're likely going to be a better athlete. That second key factor behind explosive upper body work, I want to see some semblance of acceleration, either rapid right off of the chest or rapid through the entire range of motion. So that could be a plyometric to a perspective or it could be you know, using something that's banded. Now we're gonna start to be a little bit more explosive. And then finally, I do like to see these exercises done rapidly. When you're doing things rapidly, that trains your nervous system to fire and bring in as much high threshold motor units as possible. And that's gonna transfer not only to your absolute strength, it's gonna also help your relative strength and it's gonna help your performance in general in whatever athletic realm that you're competing in. And that takes us into our fourth best upper body explosive exercise and that's gonna be behind the neck push press. Now. This is a movement that you can also do from a front rack. So if you're an Olympic weightlifter and you struggle with your jerks, do it from the front rack. If you have experience in Olympic weightlifting, by all means, you can do push presses from the front rack. I believe a lot of shot putters, a lot of discus throwers, a lot of wrestlers who have experience doing cleans can benefit tremendously 
from a front position push press. If you don't have experience with that, utilize behind the neck push press. Now, I recommend doing this. Behind the neck, you get about a four to eight inch dip and you drive as long as possible. And when you drive, you wanna fully accelerate your shoulders, you wanna fully accelerate your elbows, you wanna drive those elbows into a lockout position as fast as possible. Here's the big kicker though. If you're athletic enough and you understand that position overhead and you have the wherewithal to feel where the bar is, you can do a slower eccentric back to your shoulders if you can handle the load. So what ends up happening is that when you do that slower eccentric, now your nervous system is aware that, wow, there's a big load coming down. Your triceps start to take on quite a bit of that load. Your shoulders take on quite a bit of that load. And then when you get to that next rep, your body is fully heightened to really accelerate that bar off of your shoulders. If you don't have experience lowering, start very, very, very light, because this is a very complicated, it's an advanced tactic. If you don't have it, you have to start very light. If you have boxes that you can do a behind the neck push press from, you can lower it and drop it on the boxes if you would prefer not to do the eccentric portion. And that's something that I like to utilize when I'm getting ready to peak my throwers, when I'm getting ready to peak my football players, we like to do a big drive off the shoulders and then drop it on the front on the boxes because when we remove the eccentric portion of the lift, now they can freshen up, they can recover a little bit better while still getting that neuromuscular stimulation. I recommend doing behind the neck push presses once to twice a week if you can handle that load, but typically once a week for six sets of four to five reps. That third key explosive upper body exercise is going to be the drop row. And this is something you can get really, really fancy with. And the reason why I like to utilize this is oftentimes it's very hard to train your lats to be explosive. Your lats are a little bit more of a slow twitch muscle group. They're very good under long duration sets and they're typically not trained to be extremely explosive. There's very few explosive upper body exercises for your lats. There's a couple that we like to utilize here, and this is one of them. And the reason why I like to utilize this is that if I've got a football player and they have to explosively hold that football, we wanna prevent fumbles. We're gonna use the drop row. We're gonna use the drop row with fat grips. If we're talking about offensive linemen or defensive linemen who have to push and pull very rapidly, we're gonna use the drop row. Same thing if we're talking about wrestlers. We like to utilize that drop row if we're going for a knee pick or, or we're trying to pummel as rapidly as possible, that arm drag. Now we have to be explosive with our lats. So there are still sports where your lats have to be explosive and that's where that drop row comes into place. And what I like to see is at the top of an elevated bench or even on an incline bench, you can utilize dumbbells, you can utilize a barbell. You squeeze and you contract as hard as possible. One, two seconds, you drop and you release. And when you drop and release, you have to catch the dumbbells or catch that barbell as fast as possible. And this is where the explosive part comes into play. As you're catching it, you're, you're lengthening those lats. You're lengthening those lats and you're training the grip. That's why it's so good for football players. That's why it's so good for wrestlers. You're lengthening those lats and now you have that stretch shortening cycle. Your lats get stretched and then they shorten very, very rapidly. You bring it in and you isometrically contract against the bench. That isometric contraction is also going to improve your neuromuscular drive and then you repeat. And I would say do this five to seven sets for four to six reps. It's very taxing, it's an explosive movement, it's advanced, it's very difficult. So take it easy, learn the movement early on. Don't try and go for broke right away. Take it easy early on, learn that explosive aspect and then apply that to your training. That second key exercise is going to be explosive push-ups to boxes. And I can hear the grumblings. Push-ups, really? Are you serious, push-ups? But guess what? Push-ups are a great way to learn how to be explosive. I like to use benches, I like to use boxes, anywhere from 12 inches up to 24 inches. And if you can think about it, this is basically the depth drop of the upper body. So what I like to use is 
coming off of those benches or coming off of those boxes, you can start to feel out the movement by doing a depth drop and holding it in an isometric position and then exploding back up. Now, as you start to get better at catching yourself, you can start to utilize that rebound, that stretch shortening cycle. You catch and you explode as rapidly as possible. This is the best movement if you wanna learn how to throw a nasty stiff arm. If you wanna learn how to be heavy on somebody's head, heavy on their shoulders and get them off position when you're a wrestler. This is really good for pass protection if you're an offensive lineman. This is really good for defensive linemen to try and hit their opponent one way or the other. Now all of a sudden, you're utilizing that explosive push up to a box to improve your performance in your athletic realm. This exercise, explosive push ups to the boxes, is extremely versatile and you can utilize it in many different sports and it can go a really long way for that force application. When you can apply force extremely quickly, that's when you're gonna start to immediately notice that your athletic performance is improving and that's one of the key factors behind how we program these exercises. It's one of those key factors on our approach to all of our athletes. What sport are they in? What problems do they have? Are they a little bit slow? Well, if they're slow, we need to improve their strength and we've gotta teach them how to use that strength at a very high rate. So we use these movements in our programming, in our program design, in our periodization. And these exercises can solve a lot of your problems. Again, if you struggle with speed in your upper body, if you struggle in utilizing a stiff arm, or you struggle in pass pro, or you struggle to pummel and get somebody off balance on the mat, whatever those problems are, a lot of these movements will solve that. These are the solution to your issues. So we put these all together in our programs. You can click on the link down below. You can head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up a wrestling-based program that's gonna help you become a better wrestler. If you're a football player, same thing. You can click on the link, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up one of our specialty designed programs that's gonna help you achieve your dreams and goals as an athlete. Coming in at that number one spot to make your upper body more explosive is the med ball bench. And this is a great movement that you can utilize on a bench, you can utilize it on the floor. You need a partner, you need to make sure that you have a partner who's coordinated and aware and athletic so they can catch the med ball and make sure that you don't drop it on your head. So that's a really key factor here. But this is an exercise that's tremendous for shot putters, it's tremendous for wrestlers, it's tremendous for football players, it's incredible for any sport that you're involved with your upper body pushing your opponents around. Think about a basketball player, they're, they're setting up in the post, you get a little nudge and you're more explosive because of that med ball bench, that's going to help move your opponent quite a bit. So think about utilizing this in many different sports. I even like to use this with some contrast training. Do a heavy set on the bench, rest two to three minutes, hit those med ball benches. Now, what you can do is you can use a med ball that's anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds. Your partner drops it, you get that stretch shortening cycle, you explode rapidly off of your chest. Another thing you could do, you can put in some little bit of a variation here. You can catch it, hold one, two, explode as fast as possible. So if you have somebody whose bench press stinks off their chest, off their chest for the first four to six inches, I recommend they actually pause for two seconds and then explode. If you have somebody that might not have the best lockout, use that stretch shortening cycle the whole way through on the concentric portion. So this is a movement that's extremely versatile. And I recommend doing this at least twice a week when you're starting to get into your explosive work. If you do this twice a week during your explosive phases, it's gonna carry over really well to that athletic realm. It's gonna help you become more explosive. It's gonna help you to throw that nasty stiff arm and it's gonna help you become an all around better athlete. So if you want help with your programming, with your training, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up one of our specialty design programs or our custom program that's gonna help you become a freak athlete. If you want more information and more content about explosive based training, click on this card right here. Until next time guys, peace.